It's been a six-month wait since Andrea Kimi Antonelli wrapped up the 2022 championship, but we are so excited to be back at the home of the Emilia Romagna Formula One Grand Prix for the first race of 2023. Ten teams on the grid for this, the 10th anniversary season of the world's most competitive junior motor racing series, the Italian F4 Championship, presented by WSK Promotion together with the Automobile Club of Italy. Great to have your company. The cars are out onto the grid as Giancarlo Fisichella makes his way onto the circuit, an interested spectator here. But first, let's hear from the pole sitter, Kasper Stuka, who's down with Lauda. Second year for you on the championship and first pole in, fir in this first race. A very good start for you. Yeah, qualifying was uh, really good. Uh, we didn't manage to score pole on uh, both races. Uh, the second group was a bit faster, but we are really, really happy to start from P1 and P2 later on this uh, today. Kaspers Stuka, who will start on Thank pole you. position for the first race of 2020. Very split groups in qualifying. We have divided the grid. Such is its depth. We have exceeded the track capacity that we have got two groups for qualifying and we've got three heat races before race four, the final tomorrow afternoon. Nicole, Nicola Lacorta was so impressive in qualifying yesterday and he's speaking to Laura now. So first row for you, in front row for you this first race. A very good start for you too. Yeah, I mean, it's a P2 in quality. Uh, it's a pretty good result as a first race of the championship. And I'm pretty happy with the pace that we had in the practice. So, yeah, I'm positive for today's race. Thank you. The quietly spoken Tuscan at Nicola Lacorte lining up on grid two. Car 47 for the Cetela Prima Racing Team, son of Roberto, driver in the World Endurance Championship when he's not on an America's Cup flying Nika yacht somewhere in the Mediterranean. Lives a very busy life, does both Nicola and his father Roberto. And he has been super quick in qualifying as we take a look at the grid for you in just a moment. There is the pole sitter that we just heard from, Kasper Stuka, back for another crack at this championship. As we said in our introduction, the most competitive junior motor racing series in the world at one of four current Formula One Grand Prix tracks on the 2023 calendar. Let's take a look at the grid for you. We just heard from Casper, and the pole starts on pole alongside the Tuscan Nicola Lacorte. The American Singaporean Akshay Bora for the German US racing team out of three, alongside a second generation racer Brando Badoe out of four. We go to Zachary David from the Philippines, Matteo De Paolo out of grid six for the RSGP team, Rashid Aldehedi from Abu Dhabi, in Abu Dhabi in his first ever car race, alongside Jimmy James, out of a disappointing run for the Australian in qualifying, but surely one of the favourites for this year's title. Il Siciliano, Alfio Spinner out of nine, alongside the American James Agotzi, the 2021 World Kart Racing Champion, Tuka Tapanen, that's James's Tony Kart Racing teammate, he's out of 11, and then Rafael Nadak for RSGP out of grid 12. Cars setting off on their formation lap. Aurelia Nobels, she has been impressive here. The Brazilian Belgian driver starts out of grid 13 alongside the Chinese debutant Ricky Lu, Tina Hausman, Kim Warang from South Korea out of grid 16. We go to Enzo Deligny, the Red Bull Junior, and Ariel Elkin. Victoria Blockina, who had a limited campaign in 2022, alongside one of four Australians in the field, Griffin Peebles, out of grid 20. Ishmael Ahmed, Finn Vabelhaus, the German for AS Motorsport. His teammate, Manuel Quandam Carlo, and Ethan Isher. for Jensen Motorsport, car 27 on the final row of the grid. cars make their way out of Tosa Corner. This is the first of 21 races, seven events on the 2023 calendar. As we say, a very good morning to another Formula, former Formula One driver, Emanuele Piero, five times Le Mans champion, not three times, I took two years to correct myself. Great to have Emanuele back here at the circuit, recently announced as the head of McLaren's junior driver development program and interested spectator is Emanuele Piero who rejoins McLaren 30 years after he was their test driver 
alongside the late great Ayrton and Elaine in the late 1980s. So the cars are coming up to Variante Alda, the top, the high chicane here at Imola. The excitement is building. It is great to have your company here at Imola, the circuit which hosted the 1980 Italian Formula One Grand Prix, the only year it was not held at Monza, where we do race later on in the season. Hosted the San Marino Formula One Grand Prix right up until 2006. And in one month from, I think tomorrow actually, the Emilia Romagna Formula One Grand Prix. That is Rashid Al Dahedi from Abu Dhabi. Multiple WSK International Kart Racing Champion. Won the WSK Champions Cup, the Super Master Series, the WSK Euro Series. Just turned 15 a few days ago and is about to have his first ever car race. He starts alongside James Wharton, the Australian who was on the podium multiple times in 2022. There is Jimmy James. The driver from Melbourne, the city which hosted possibly the biggest Formula One race in history. 444,000 fans at the Albert Park circuit a few weeks ago. The hometown of James didn't have a good run in qualifying though. Starts out of grid eight. Casper for the German US racing team who finished as vice champions with the Irishman Alex Dunn in 2022 car 37. Casper Stuka to start from pole position. There is Akshay Bora right behind him. The Premier team watching on from pit lane, the defending champions, the 10th anniversary season of the world's most competitive junior motor racing series. Ian Salvestro, and it's a pleasure to be back with you in commentary. We cannot wait for this. The green flag flies at the back of the grid. The five red lights. For the first time in 2023, we race. Great start from Casper. We've lost one car at the back of the grid, which is stalled, but no problem for all the pole who started from pole. And he leads from La Corte down into turn one. Bora around the outside. And the German US racing team go one, two as they come out of Tamburello for the first time. Perfect start from Stuka, and we see James in the background already trying to make his way up through the pack. They go down into the Bill Nerf chicane. A fantastic start from Stuka. He's gone. Bora in second place gets by the Tuscan Lacorte, and then Brando Badoeda, second Italian, first for the Van Amersfoort Racing Team. The order at the bottom of your screen as they head up the field for the first time. Fantastic start from Caspar. He's already got one second over his teammate. As they go up to Piratella, Aqua Minerale, and Variante Alta for the first time. Quick start for the first race of 2023. Wharton up into position seven. Super start from Il Siciliano, Alfio Spinner, who's just a position behind, behind in the BVM racing cars. One of the Jensa cars goes off wide. That was Ariel Elkin. To Paolo up into P5 just ahead of Zachary David as they come out of the high chicane. The two AS motorsport cars round out the field. That's one of Paolo and Finn Babel House as they come down into the Vata one for the first time. What a start from Casper. He's gone. He disappears down the road as to Paolo fights with Zachary David. James Wharton, Spinner, Alderheri, Agazzi, and the 2021 World Cup racing champion from Finland to Katapanen. Going off the circuit wide at the back of the pack, Raphael Narak, the Frenchman, back into P21. Across the line for the first time, Stuka, Bora, Lacorte, Badoua, De Paolo, David, Wharton, Spinner, and Rashid in position nine. Clean start for the first race of 2023. And the German US racing team, they finished P2 in the championship last year. Well, they're going one, two for the first race of the new season. That's Alderheri right behind Jimmy James, Agotzi. James Wharton is there as well. Alfio Spinner fighting with Tuka Tapanen. And from the People's Republic of China, it's Ricky Liu. 1.5 seconds between Kaspar and Akshay. 
Laguardia comes down the hill. He's lost a position. No, he's still there with Brando Badoea. This is the battle with Zachary David, James Wharton, and right behind is the Sicilian Alfio Spina. Lap two of the first of four races here this weekend at Imola. As we see James have a look, trying to go past Zachary David, the Maltese-based Filipino driver, the former Salva kart racing team racer. Just behind is the PHM car as well. We'll check the lead from Kasper Suka. One of the favourites for this year's champion championship. As are the two drivers on the centre of your screen. Well, they were a moment ago. James Wharton for the Premier Power Team in car 13, position 7. And Alfio Spinner, car 9 in position 8. The Ferrari Junior just ahead of the Sicilian. But Zachary David is ahead of the both of them. Super start as well for Matteo Di Paolo. As they go down into Tamborello. Bora has to defend from the young task and Nicola Lacorte's second season in the Italian F4 Championship. We're underway for a brand new season, the 10th anniversary season of the Italian F4 Championship presented by WSK Promotion together with the Automobile Club of Italy. Brando has a big look at his countrymen. And the driver from Monte Bologna, north of Venice, trying to take the Tuscan for third place. Nicola closes the door coolly. There is De Paolo, back to David. Wharton, Spinner, James Agotzi, and Rashid Aldeheri for the Yas Heat Racing Team. The driver from Abu Dhabi. His first ever car race here this morning at Imola. Down into Aqua Minerale and out up to Variante Alta. What a start from Caspar. 1.7 seconds, the lead back to his teammate. Le Corte, superb in position three. At the moment from Badoya to Paolo Ward, David Wharton, Spinner, and Gotti. Rashid just ahead of Tukatapanen. Stuka is gone as Brando makes the move. And he's now the top Italian, the Van Emersford Racing Team driver. Goes by the Prema Power Team driver, Brando, up into position three. Nice pass down into Ribata. The gap from Stuka back to Bora, 1.8 seconds. There's Rashid Aldeheri right on the back of James Agotzi. Has a look down into Tamborello. The American holds off the Emirati for the moment. That's the Sicilian for BVM Racing right ahead. Rashid looks racy. He gets a run on James Agotzi for the PHM Racing Team. Can he slam it down the inside in his first ever car race? They go wheel to wheel. The American holds him off right behind in car eight, the 2021 World Cup Racing Champion from Finland. That is Tuka Tapanen. His former Tony Kart Racing teammate is just ahead. That's James Agotzi. He started the 2023 season with a victory in the opening round of the WSK Supermasters Kart Racing Series at South Garda Karting Lonato, the two Tony Kart drivers. Agotzi in 48, Tapanen in position eight. Ricky Lu right behind in 66. From another Chinese born driver, that is Enzo Tolini, the Red Bull Junior in position 13. Airborne over the chicane. Spectacular from Wharton. A clean start for the first race of 2023, but I speak too soon because it looks as though we've got Ricky Liu with damage. The Chinese driver with a badly dislodged front wing. He'll have to pit, certainly. He's a sitting duck as they gang up and try and take the Chinese driver into a reverse. So the car will not turn. Aurelia Nobel's going by. Tina Hausman there as well. Rafael Nadak further back and continues on. This is the reason why going into Aqua Minerale, one of the Prema drivers going wide. It was Tuka Tappen and comes back on the circuit. But this cost. Ricky Lou, the front wing, straight over Variente Alta as we go back to the battle. As they go wheel to wheel down into the chicane. A fantastic start for the 2023 season with the exception of the Chinese driver, Ricky Liu, who's continuing on. A mechanical defect flag will be surely issued imminently. The car does not steer. 
Ricky Liu just being passed by Ariela Elkin. Kim Waring. This is now almost a danger to the other drivers. It is now because Aurelia comes together with one of the PHM drivers behind. And now off the road, there goes the front wing of Ricky Lou, and we've got two carts parked at the exit of Tosa Corner. Reversing back onto the circuit. Aurelia Nobels. And the 62 car of Manuel Quandom Carlo. It looked as though their cars were at least straight. The same cannot be said for Ricky Lou, who has been issued with a mechanical defect flag. Back to the front, and Kasper Stuka, I speak too soon, as we look at Victoria Blokina, the Moscovite who's gone around, but does rejoin. It looks as though her car is undamaged. Kasper Stuka, 2.5 seconds over border. As we look at James Wharton, go wheel to wheel with Zachary David. The Australian and the Filipino driver at over 240 k's an hour. As Brando, you can see he's caught up to the first of the US racing cars. That is Akshay Bora right in front of him. Brando, who is in P4, up into third and trying to take the American for second place. Wide turn in from Akshay Bora. There's his teammate coming out of Tosa Corner now. We'll take a look at the replay of what happened just a few moments ago. Aurelia Nobels coming together. And it looks as though that was Tina Hausman. So Aurelia and Tina. Manuel Quandam Carlo as well. And Victoria Blockina in the background. A local yellow only. And we continue racing green. There is Tina with a damaged front wing. Tina Hausman in car 21. The AKM Motorsport team. And she's down in the pits. This is Aurelia Nobels, the Iron Dames driver, the Brazilian Belgian. Back into the race is Ethan Isher, the Jensen Motorsport team driver who started from the back of the grid and has only made up one position and a pit stop won't help. Back to Kasper Stuka, second year in the championship. He was on the podium, had a race win in 2022. He's looking as though he's going to start the 2023 season in the best possible way. His teammates in second place, but under attack from the two Italians, Brando Padoea and Nicola Lacorte. There is Aurelia Nobels, who just exits pit lane, lets the leader by. Brando down into Tamborello, right on the back of Akshay Bora. Gets a good run on the Singaporean American. The Van Emersport Racing Team driver Aurelia Nobels does the right thing. She pulls off. The blue flag is being waved for her as Brando tries the outside line. Can he do it? What a move by Padua. And the Italian marches up into second place. La Corte also takes Bora as well. The American is now under attack from the third Italian, Matteo De Paolo, for the RSGP team. What a move from Brando. Up into second place, and he's got 13 minutes to chase down the race leader, Kasper Suka, who is 2.9 seconds down the road. Brilliant move from Badoya down into Aqua Minerale. Bora from position two, Akshay. Now has to defend from Matteo De Paolo for the RSGP team. There is the race leader, Kasper Stuka. Brando Padoe up into position two. It's not good news for our Sicilian viewers because Alfio Spinner is under investigation for work which was done on the grid prior to the start. And the same goes for Matteo De Paolo, both Matteo De Paolo and Alfio Spinner as are under investigation. Wharton goes on through. James makes up a place. Not the best running qualifying for the driver who stood on the podium multiple times in 2022. Fastest lap of the race. Contrary to popular belief, this is the fastest circuit on the calendar. Certainly in a straight line, Aurelia Nobels. 
who has just rejoined a few moments ago, fastest through the speed trap in qualifying at 247 k's an hour. That is ferociously quick in the new generation at Tata's T421 car, powered as ever by the Arbath engine with the Pirelli tyres, of course. De Paolo under investigation and he's lost the place to the Australian James Wharton. Spinner in position eight, also under investigation for work which took place on the grid after the three minute board. 3.3 seconds, Kaspar Stuka from Poland back to Brando Badoe, down into Aqua Minerale. Akshay Bora, the Singaporean American, depending on what day of the week it is and where he is in the world, as we see De Paolo go very wide. He made a great start, but it's not going wrong for the Italian. Now does rejoin in car 85 in position six, just ahead of Zachary David. Spinner, Rashid Alderheri. And from Miami, Florida, James Agotzi in position 10. Then it's Delini, Tappanen, Elkin, Kim Waring, Narak, Griffin Peebles, Babel House, and Ishmael Ahmed. They come onto the straight to start lap nine of race one the 2023 Italian F4 Championship, the 10th anniversary season of this fantastic series. One quarter of the current Formula One Grand Prix grid have come from here, including the inaugural champion, the Canadian Lance Stroll back in 2014. So the Premier drivers in positions three and five, the US racing drivers one and four, split by Brando Badoea. This battle rages on. There's James Wharton, who's come from grid eight. He's now right behind Akshay Bora. Watch him go up into the Villeneuve chicane. Tosa, Pitatella. The Ferrari Junior gets a good run. As does Matteo De Paolo right behind him, who, who is still under investigation. Brando with the fastest lap of the race so far, a 144.578. Down into Aqua Minerale, the gap has come down slightly. It's down to 2.5 seconds as Brando sets the fastest lap of the race and takes a few tenths. Out of Casper Stuka, who turns right there, is Badoea in second place. Le Corte, the Tuscan, the second generation races in second and third place. And then this battle between Bora and Watton. James gets a run as they go down into Rivazza. Watch Bora stay in the middle of the circuit. He'll have to recover his line. James has a look down the inside. Bora covers him off as Lagorte locks up the brake. He'll get the slipstream as they come across the line. And the move is on up into Tamborello. De Paolo just behind. That is Spinner behind. Zachary David, Rashid Aldeheri, and the American James Agotzi. In the slipstream, over 240 k's an hour here at Imola. These cars are flying. Rashid at the back of the pack in position 14, in car 14 in position 10. As Border intelligently covers his line from James Wharton. Makes a move down the inside. Bora tries to cover him off. James has to get out of the throttle. Now he tries the high line. Watch down into the toaster chicane. De Paolo is right behind. And he makes a move on the Australian who says, no problem, I'll try the outside. Incredibly, Bora continues to hold him off. This fantastic battle for positions four, five, and six. Race one, round one, the 2023 Italian F4 Championship here at Imola. And Bora still holds them off for the moment. Lacourt skips away, watch down into Aqua Minerale. Now Wharton has to defend from De Paolo who is still under investigation as Spinner gets sideways behind. By the way, there's Lacourt. We wait for this battle being led by Border. Variante Alta, the high chicane here at Imola. And then we race down in Terribata. There is Il Cicciviano, the former WSK Euro Series, WSK Super Master Series card racing champion. The Sicilian for the BVM racing team. De Paolo closes the door. He knew that Alfio was there for the move. And just behind, Zachary David. And on debut, his first ever car race, the Emirati, Rashid Alberheri. A Gotti in the background. Then the Red Bull Junior, Enzo Delini. 
Wharton further back this time. Over 240 k's an hour here at Imola. There is La Corte. There's Bora. James has half a look. Into the final quarter of the first race of 2023 here at Imola. Another passes lap of Rando. The gap will take a look. It's down to 2.1 seconds. He was three tenths of a second faster than the race leader, Brando at Casper. Spinner, car nine, position seven. That's Zachary David just behind. And then Rashid al the five-time WSK Cup racing champion from Abu Dhabi. The Yas Heat driver, together with the Bremer Power team. Into Aqua Minerale. Nicola rides the ripple strip at the high chicane. But he enter Alta. Casper's lead exactly two seconds back to Brando. In fact, has gone down another tenth or two, 1.8. You can see the graphic at the left of your screen. You look at the Tuscan as Lacorte locks up a break in the Cetila Racing Prema Power Team Car 47. Ethan Isha comes across the line. After that pit stop, he'll go a lap down. As the leaders go racing by, Ethan does the right thing. By the way, the gap is down to 1.6 seconds now. Down into Tamburello. The circuit where his father, Luca, raced over the years, not only in Formula One, but prior to that, on his way to the Formula 3000 International Championship in 1992. And the Italian Formula 3 Championship in the two years prior, well before Brando was even born, as they go up into Tosa, out of Variante Villeneuve. The gap between Padua and La Corte is just on two seconds exactly. And Border, for the moment, has withstood the challenge from James Warton. The field spread out in the dying stages of race one here in the Italian F4 Championship. 37 drivers here at Imola. The circuit with a track capacity of 36, which means we've had to divide the, group, the category into groups. So this is Group B versus C tonight. Group A versus B. Tomorrow morning, race three, C versus A, and then tomorrow at six o'clock, the first 36 into the final, meaning obviously one driver will miss out on racing the final. Tanisha does the right thing. 24 drivers in the field and 24 drivers still circulating. A great performance, commendable. Particularly when we, if we have to, remember some of the carnage which took place last year. It was Formula Safety Car for a while, particularly when the heavens opened, which it did during free practice on Thursday. But here the sun is shining and the pole who started from pole, Kasper Stuka in position one. 1.5 seconds. Back to Brando Badoer. 2.42 k's an hour through the speed trap for the Venom Asphalt Racing Team driver. As we said, the top speed during qualifying, Aurelia Nobel's 247 k's an hour. So there is still time, in fact. Just over three minutes. So we believe there'll be two. Possibly three laps remaining, depending on when they cross the line. 25 minutes plus one lap, and the gap is down to 1.3 seconds. A superb drive from Brando Babuea. Fastest lap after fastest lap at 144. 8.51 last time versus a 45.13 for Casper. He's taken two tenths of a second out of the pole for the US racing team. Out of Aqua Minerale. We'll check the gap for you. It's come from 1.5 to 1.4, 1.2. He's coming. It is not over yet. Second year in the championship for Kasper Stuka. Race winner in 2022. And one of the championship favourites, as is the driver behind him, Rando Badoya. Panama Sport Racing, they took the title with Oli Bierman now racing for the Premier team 
in Formula 2, as is Dennis Hauger, who won the 2019 championship. The Norwegian with the Dutch team. You can see just over two minutes, plus one lap remaining. The gap down to 1.1 seconds. What a drive from Brando. He has come from the proverbial mile back to now be within striking distance of the pole in position one. Brilliant from Brando. Down into Tamborello. The gap is 0 0.9 of a second. Brando is coming in the dying stages. Look how he has carved tenths out of the pole who started from pole. A superb drive from Badoel, one of the unluckiest drivers in 2022. But boy, what a start to the championship for the young Italian. Debris to the side of the circuit from an incident earlier on. But we race green to the chequered flag. 0.8 of a second. Brando is coming. There's a win here available for either Casper or Brando. Lacourt still in position three from Border, who has withstood the challenge from Wharton. As Brando, with the slightest of errors there, on the absolute ragged edge, rides the ripple strip. He's sideways on the exit, up into Alta Variante Alta. The high chicane turns in early decisively. Incident further back in the pack, James Wharton. Oh boy, coming together. And he's out. Matteo Di Paolo and James Wharton are both out. They were running in the top five, the Italian, the Australian. They come together, they are both out in the dying stages. A local yellow only for the moment. So we believe there will be two laps remaining. There is still time. Brando just gets the benefit ever so slightly of the slipstream. You can see proof of that. 5 k's an hour faster, 244 k's an hour. But Brando, by the way, the gap is 0 0.7 of a second. There is a double waved yellow down into turn six and seven, which is where they're approaching now. Brando is coming. He's got a lap and a half to catch, pass and take the win. There is the yellow for De Paolo and James Wharton. They're both out. The US racing team nervously watching on from pit lane. Vice champions with Alex Dunn in 2022. And looking to start the all new 10th anniversary season in the best possible way, as is Brando. The gap, 0 0.7 of a second. Last lap, next time round. We'll check the gap. 0 0.738. Up to the high chicane. Variante Alta. Rides the ripple strip, does Casper. Brando tries to chase down the pole. Too far back going down into Ribata. They will get the last lap board next time round. Race one of the 2023 Italian F4 Championship into Ribata one. The front left off the deck of Brando. He is driving the wheels off the Van Sport racing team car. We'll check the gap too far back to get the slipstream you think this time. Maybe ever so slightly. This is the last lap of the race. Point 0.7, it stays the same. Surely Casper won't lose it from here. Remember, there is a double waved yellow flag down into the Tosa curve. This is Tamborello for the last time. Gets a good run, does Casper, as does Brando. The gap down to point 0.6, another tenth from the Italian. Into Variante Villeneuve. Sideways as he turns in. The double waved yellow. Still at this part of the circuit. Closes up slightly though, does Brando. As they climb the hill for the final time. This will come down 30 Barca in just two kilometers from now. Lacourt still in position three. Porter P4, spinner P5 from David Alberheri. This is the last lap of the first race of 2023. Down into Aqua Minerale for the final time. Yes, it looks as though Kaspar unnecessarily covers his line ever so slightly, and he loses another tenth of a second. Into the high chicane, into Variente Alta. Kaspar Stuka from Brando Padoea. Rides the ripple strip, gets the run. Watch down into Ribata, he's too far back. He won't do it. 
a brilliant drive from Brando, who has driven the wheels off the 15 Van Hemersford racing car. But as they come into Rivazza for the final time, the gap down 2.5 of a second. The pole, who started from pole, accelerates. A contender in 2022, but surely he's now a favourite. Kasper Stuka for the German US racing team wins race one, round one of the 2023 Italian F4 Championship here at Imola this morning. Brando with a brilliant drive, position to Le Corte. Third place for the young Tuscan. Then it's Porta, Il Siciliano, Spinner, David. Rashi P7, James 8, Dalini 9, and Tuka Tapanen in position 10. The race winner, Kasper Stuka, back for another crack at the world's most competitive junior motor racing series. He started from pole position. He withstood the pressure. A brilliant comeback from Brando Badoao. But Kasper Stuka for the US racing team, P2 in the championship for the team of Gerhard and Ralph, but their Polish driver starts the 2023 season in the best possible way. US racing position one in race one here at Imola. Kasper, a brilliant driver. And the same can be said for Brando and Nicola Lacorte, who's home in position three. His first podium, Border withstanding the pressure. We'll go through the results for you in a moment. No doubt, Kasper, position one. In the end, the gap was 0.6 of a second. He had it under control. And now takes the lead of the championship, obviously, at this early stage. The first race, the first race, the first round, here in beautiful sunshine. It is springtime here in Italy. Thankfully, finally. And the pole, it's still freezing in Eastern Europe, incidentally. Snow in Poland a few days ago. But the sun is shining, forgive the cliche, for Kasper Stuka and US Racing. They go position one. Kasper Stuka wins the first event of the 10th anniversary season of the championship. Brando Brilliant in second place. Nicola Lacorta, his first ever podium for the Tuscan. Bora Il Siciliano, Zachary David. Rashid P7, his first ever car race. The Tony Kart Racing Team driver now for PHM Racing, James Zagotzi, Enzo Delini, the Red Bull Junior, and Tuka Tapanen from Finland in position 10. Great comeback from Ariel Elkin. Kim Wareng, Rafael Nadak, Griffin Peebles kept his nose clean. Finn Vabelhaus also from the back of the grid. Ishmael Larkmeg, Manuel Quandom Carlo. A busy race for the Italian ahead of Ricky Lou, Tina Hausman, Ethan Isha, Aurelia Nobels after that pit stop. Pit stop. She does finish in position 21, a lap down. The Brazilian-Belgian, Victoria Blochina, and out while fighting for fourth place, James Wharton and Matteo De Paolo. So at this very early stage of the championship, it is Kasper Stuka, obviously and clearly in position one as he wins race one, round one, the Italian F4 championship here at Imola this morning. Third place, his first ever podium, the Tuscan Nicola Lacorte. Good start to the championship. Brando, a brilliant drive into second place for Van Amersfoort Racing. But the race winner, race one, round one, Kasper Stuka, who's down with Laura in pit lane. First victory for you, you dominated the race from the beginning, and despite a lot of pressure from Brando in the second part of the race. 
Yeah, it was quite a lot of pressure in the end. Uh, the beginning was yeah, pretty pretty easy, so they were, I think, fighting be behind me. Uh, then uh, Brando was uh, catching me, but yeah, uh, I managed to, to hold him and yeah, I'm happy to win. Thank you. Thank you. Let's take a look at the highlights of the first race of the new season. The pole starter from Pola, brilliant start from Brando Padoea, who went around the outside, down into Tamborello. A clean start for the first event of the new season. Casper was gone. Nicola Lacorte and Akshay Bora went wheel to wheel down into Tamborello. And the American Singaporean made it a US Racing 1-2 in the opening stages of the race. James Wharton from grid eight, up into seventh to sixth, and to fifth, as we saw his teammate run off the road. And then it all started to unfold. Contact between Tina Halsman, Aurelia Nobels, Manuel Quandam Carlo as well in the background, but did rejoin in the AES Motorsport car as Brando with a brilliant move. This was the move of the race, no doubt. He just forced his way by up into second place. His countryman, Lacorte, followed him through and Borda was soon under attack from Matteo De Paolo, who was under investigation, but would ultimately retire in an incident with James Wharton. Kasper Stuka was gone. He was over three seconds, but Brando, with a bit between his feet, took tenths with fastest lap after fastest lap out of the pole, but Kasper had it under control. And Stuka wins the first race of the 2023 championship season here at Imola this morning. His father, Luca, great to see a smile. Brando's father, Luca, of course, the 1992 Formula 3000 champion for Krypton Motorsport. And that beautiful Reinhardt 92D. Roberto Lacorte. World Endurance Championship driver racing in IMSA in 2023. Celebrates because that's his boy, Nicola Lacorte, on the podium in the first race of the new season. P2 for Brando for Benevent Sport Racing. The Dutch team are back with a great start, but position one, it's the German team with the Polish driver, Kasper, wins race one here at Imola. Mr. Luca De Dono, the president of WSK Promotion. Of course, I'll remind you once again, this is the 10th anniversary of the world's most competitive junior motor racing series brought to you by WSK Promotion. And Luca presents the trophies. Third place to Nicolas, second to Brando, and Casper P1 in race one here this morning. And of course, the winning team, US Racing. The podium up for the first race of the 10th anniversary season of the Italian F4 Championship presented by WSK Promotion. You can see Casper disappears. He doesn't want to watch the race suit. Nicola doesn't care. And the two Italians Ray, uh, remain on the podium to celebrate. A fantastic start to the new season. We hope you've enjoyed race one, race two to take place at 20 minutes past six o'clock this evening. Live from Imola, we'll see you then.